makes me feel a lot of a lot of gratitude for this opportunity for this life. Six thirty in the morning or seven in the morning now. Drinking drinking tea here. <laughs> it's incredible. What am I so scared of becoming? What am I so scared of being? Why am I so scared of expressing? Why am I so uptight? Why can't I let go? Why can't I be free? What is holding me back? We are in Lollapata eating Woo! breakfast at 7.20 with people from, where are you guys from? Israel, Denmark, Denmark, Denmark Australia. Australia, Australia, and the States. The States. The States. Yeah. Trying. <laughs> people from the States are okay. And uh, one guy from Canada. You can throw an A. So we're about to uh, do 86 kilometers somehow. And we're all gonna make it. Some way. Somehow. You're excited? We don't have to carry anything. We got donkeys. I guess we gotta carry our own bags. 86 k It's actually just gonna be crazy. Got my poles already. You got your poles already. <laughs> Makes me wanna do this trip? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Makes you want to walk 86k. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, that's I a question I'm still asking time. myself. We'll, uh, we'll find out right? if it was worth it at the end. Um, <laughs> to spir to a spiritual journey? I see space, man. Like, yeah? After three months in Lima, dude, I just like, I see space. Just quiet. But you know, obviously we'll have people here. But, like, I just need to be away from the city. Got a nice green banana there. <laughs> nice green banana. <laughs> nice. Ready to be? Yeah, ready to be. Uh, fitness, because you got to stay in shape. Oh, yeah. Because you know this is. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's them calling you, that's them calling you fat. Man. Five days. Like, disconnected. I'm going to fall. Get my camera in here. Get to be somewhere different and new. Different environment. See different plants. I wonder what we're gonna see. Yeah. Because we don't know. I guess this is crazy already. We're walking through water. Great way to start. Get wet feet. <laughs> he told you we are a familia, right? So as a familia, all the members we know each other. Wait, 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 wait. What wait, are we just? Wait, wait a minute, everybody. <laughs> Come on, look at the hands. I can't see the hands, muchachos. <laughs> Here we go, I guys. Would say, oh. And after that, you're going to say loud because you already had breakfast. <laughs> you're gonna say so loud, rah, 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 showing these other guys that we are the best. Yeah, we're the best. <laughs> we're the best. Ready? <laughs> no. Throw the hands up and then you say cooey. Cooey. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> no, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> or throwing so excited, say, so excited. Like, 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 abu, abu, abu. Okay. What do you think? Kui okay. or three times abu, abu, abu. First, abu, abu, abu. ra, ra, ra. And then kui. Kui much better. Okay. Ra, ra, ra. Kui. 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 Okay. 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 One, two, three. Bu. Super kui. Ra, ra, ra. Kui. <laughs> Come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Try like to it. learn for tomorrow for the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go. Super coys. <laughs> it's the the clouds are fading. I'm so pumped now. I know. <laughs> Amazing! So we're here at the squad at the... Squad? The squad. What's, what was our name again? Super Kui. Super Kui! You already forgot your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you're done. 
You're done. Okay, I guess I'll just go back. It's the end. If the endless dream. Guide your restless spirit. Guide. Seize it. It's the endless dream guides your restless spirit. Seize it. Seize it. That's deep. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so. I made it, I made it to the sky camp. We're here. Uh, first like 10K of a crazy journey, crazy adventure. Um, 84 kilometers like through like the craziest mountains that I've ever seen. Like <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. These views, the mountains, like the way they're shaped, like it's it just seems like we're in a movie. Yeah. There's a Viv going into his house. He's at my house. Yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. We got a little, little bed. Nice and warm. <laughs> nice and warm. Oh, it's Sorry. so warm in here. It's so nice. Oh, wow. It's so nice. Like I feel, I feel so light here. I feel like I can be anything. I feel like, um, <laughs> There's really no limits on things like the only limits we ever put on things is <laughs> the Limits we put on that it's like this place is a pl <laughs> somewhere to realize that it's that that natural beauty of the world that shows to us that <sighs> It really just shows our own beauty, you know it shows because we are part of this world. We are a part of this world We're not separate. We're not humans roaming the earth. We are humans of the earth Fog is beginning to, to fade away. We got a beautiful rainbow. <laughs> Majestic rainbow, you could say. When's the last time you saw a rainbow here? <laughs> Do you see every time? Six months ago. Wow. Six months since there, I had seen a rainbow like that. That's beautiful. About to see Humonte Lake. Beautiful, beautiful lake. After about 12k of hiking today, this is the moment of truth. So I'm excited to see it. Ah. Just gotta make sure I'm recording. I'm not zoomed in all the way on my face. Woo! Shit. That's decent. It's all right. Six out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. The rainbow. Now this lake. Wow. We need to go over there. We're running down the mountain. Making. Yeah, making good pace. We just hold ourselves back so much, and I'm, I'm talking personally, and I know with Look. other people that I know is. We have so many things that we're scared of, so many things that we're afraid of. Well, that's good work Talking out. to this camera, I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of what other people think. I'm afraid of success. I'm afraid of what people think of my business. I'm afraid of what people think of my personality, my image, my laugh. All these things that don't fucking matter. They don't. They don't matter at all because it's like... We came here to be authentic. We came here to... You know, share love and light and be ourselves. <sighs> There's so much beauty in that. So it's the morning of the first night here. Morning? Morning after the first night. Just after six, we just had breakfast. Ugh. I'm feeling shitty. Uh, I'm not sure why, I just have a sore stomach. But I took some, some drugs that should help so I should feel better, but... Yeah, we're gonna be hiking uh, 20, 20 some kilometers. Uh, a lot of it's uphill. Some say it's the toughest day, so I hope I can stay strong and keep up with everyone. And enjoy today, it's so beautiful here. We can, can see both the mountains here, both the glaciers, the clouds are cleared. Um, last, night was, last night was pretty chilly, but uh, it's not too bad now, so looking forward to today.
15k today so far in about six hours. It's about three kilometers an hour. <laughs> but uh, this place is majestic. It's oh, so much mystery, mystery to it. Gosh, so we uh, just made it to our little what do you call these tree houses? Indian huts. Indian huts! Uh, second night after walking 22 kilometers <laughs> after puking on the trail. <laughs> yeah, Did you? yeah I, pu I puked in Madly, I just kept going. And <laughs> <Just stopped. laughs> like yeah, now we're, uh, we're in this beautiful place. <laughs> I don't know what mine looks like. <laughs> oh, the sun. He's painting the sun. You are fierce. <laughs> I love the face you're making. There's so much beauty in that. And the more we can learn to harness that energy within ourselves, like, like I said, the sky is the limits. The sky is the limits. It's like we have to realize that for ourselves though, it's like we, we <laughs> the way we talk to ourselves in the heads and the, the images that we paint ourselves based on our past experiences are just like, we, we hold on to those, we, we think that's us, but it's not. It's not us, it's made up. You know, we're so much more. You are. Here we are, day three of the trek. <laughs> We're in the jungle. In the jungle of all places. Uh, got some face paint done this morning. I am the sun. Uh, the sun of, sun of Peru, I guess. So, um, but I, yeah, I slept, slept so well last night. And now we're uh, hiking up this, this trail here. It's gonna be up and down 16K today. Gonna end up at at some hot springs, zip lining our camp around noon or so. So it's gonna be a, gonna be a good day. Don't drink the water! 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 Shoes are destroyed. Legs are covered in mud. Uh, beautiful view here. Um, it was raining most of this morning here on the fourth day, but uh, we get some beautiful views of the valley here as we're running through the jungle. <laughs> Literally running down these paths. Sometimes as fast as we can, it's crazy. Almost like falling, it's like a video game to us. It's fun. Woo! Here goes a vive! Full speed! Full speed! for sunrise. Uh, 
half hour to go. Sun's coming up. Beautiful. It's a total of it's like 600 meters of elevation to get up to Machu Picchu. Uh, they said we left at five gates open at six. We're gonna see the sunrise over top of one of the seven great wonders of the earth. So it's gonna be a pretty special moment. But to get there is it's a bit of a workout, <laughs> but it's uh, it's worth it after walking uh, just over just over 80 kilometers to get here. So we're almost there. We did it, Freddy. My office, familia. This is your office. Yes. We made it. Woo! We Woo. made it. Woo. Let's go to that corner, guys. Ah, Bigger than life. So we uh, <laughs> made it to Machu Picchu. It's so beautiful here. A little touristy, but so many, such a beautiful view to end this. Uh, in this little little journey that we've been on, so it's awesome. <laughs> We build these characters that we that we just try to we try to keep we try to keep the character alive and we don't let ourselves grow because we we're looking in the mirror we're looking in our reflection and we are constructing constricting creating someone that we're not and we just allow ourselves to be in the moment and allow ourselves to make mistakes and allow ourselves to to live this life, we're human beings. We are meant to fall, we are meant to crumble, we are meant to break, we are meant to go through belts of depression, anxiety, it's all part of us. You know, but we, we tend to run from these things, we tend to run from these negative emotions instead of embracing them. So it's a uh, Sunday here on the trip. Just finished uh, surfing for the first time. Uh, Went for lessons two days ago, and today I finally did get up on the board. Uh, it was like the most, the best feeling in the world uh, when you like stand on that board and, and surf for like two, three hundred meters with the wave pushing you. It's like it's actually surreal. Like I was actually like, able to move left to right and everything. So um, yeah, so. This is the end of my journey here in Lima after four nights here. Um, so I'm heading to Jerez tomorrow, or tonight, fuck, in like four or five hours on, a, on an overnight bus. So, where I'm gonna do some trekking and whatnot for a week or so, so it's gonna be fun. So. I think today really, uh, really taught me about impermanence, and I find myself attaching onto things way too much. Like it's honestly like it's bad because I'm so attached to things. I'm so attached to things. These are my uh, my friends here. Woo! Uh, yeah, I always find myself attaching onto things way too much, and. So many little things that we that we hold on to in life that uh, that we don't let go of, we can't grow. And I 
find myself being held back by those all the time. Surfing kind of teaches you to do that, just to let go and relax and be in the present moment and not force things. And not being so attached to the outcome. It's like we have to be so open to life. We want to be I want to be open to life. We all should strive to be open to life because it's like we're trying to control things so much and it's like we just have to embrace what comes to us and embrace the moment. There's so much beauty in that. There's so much weight off of our shoulders when we learn to let go, when we learn to, to be free. Um, like I said, we, I, we definitely try to control and attach to things and it's like, I feel like, I feel like life has just such a different plan for us. We have to be ready for it. Okay, Andrew, how are you feeling? Well, uh, the altitude's worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> it, like, it just feels like the air is just not, it's not enough. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, where we started back there. Mere two minutes ago. We're like half an hour into this. Walking backwards, fall. You look pretty safe. Wow, hardcore. But we're good. We're good now. We're not even tired. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my vlog. <laughs> two American girls found a Canadian in a Mexican restaurant last night. And now, I'm sorry, Mexican Indian restaurant. And we're really high up, and this is a very good angle of my face. And um, that's all I have to say. Thank you for tuning in. This is unreal. Let's jump. We'll do it together. Ready? Five, four, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> Was it colder than you thought? <laughs> it feels so warm, Matthew. I didn't pay for this. Oh my god. If I get an accident, I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> so, uh, built hmm. a guinea pig here in uh, Peru. But nice view. Mm, look, it's like a water fountain and everything. <laughs> so nice. And they brought us free food. Free food. On Tim Chan. Actually, so incredible. It's like the mountains here. And the view behind me is just ridiculous. This is one of those moments where your whole life kind of flashes before your eyes and everything.
living at the edge of this moment right here. It's, it's all in perspective. I'm actually just so happy to be here. All these people and doing these crazy things. It's just so refreshing. So we've been hiking for like three over three hours now. It's been pretty exhausting. It feels good just to sit and actually like enjoy the view because we're just like walking and walking and it's just like it's so much right it's so much like look at this stuff here look at this this scenery wait till you see this water wow. this water is the most turquoise blue you'll ever see Desert. We're uh, just about to go on our dune buggies in the desert. There's dune buggies everywhere. The fucking desert. It's hot. We got dune buggy, sandboard. It's gonna be fucking crazy. Hey, okay, so we got uh, people from Colombia and Brazil in the back. Give a wave, guys. They're the safest because they're in the back. But then the Spanish are they're done. They're done. For us. I think there is there's so much there's so much beauty in being lost. There's so much beauty in not exactly knowing the way. There's beauty in knowing a direction where you need to go. But not knowing what that path is gonna have on it. And travel is just so much like that, you know, you have a direction. You may fall off that direction. Sometimes when you fall off that path is when you really, really realize there's so many different paths that there's no right path. Because every, every path teaches you something else. And only by being lost and falling off that path can you discover what's on the other ones. Just being in like a local area and seeing how people live and I'm just saying a simple hola, adios, and like just seeing these people like live in the hills here. Uh, there's, there was a group of kids playing soccer. It was it's just it's so amazing for us that we have the opportunity to like come here and like see these people. It's it's so amazing. <laughs> That's the tra that's travel. That's life. Is just <laughs> all of it together. And you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't change that for the world. I'm so blessed to share this experience with everyone else here. And, <sighs> I just want to live life, and I don't want to be in fear anymore. I don't want to hold back. Life is way too short. And it's, just, this place has taught me, you know, it has shown me so much beauty and so much wonder. It's, I just 
want to bring that into into life.